Hello, Ricky McMillan for Equestrian Life. We've just watched the second session of the Grand Prix Special at 2012 London Olympics. The Grand Prix Special uh, qualifies the riders for the individual medals, the Grand Prix Freestyle, but also decides the medals for the, the team event. Um, absolutely fabulous audience, uh, more or less packed stands. Um, we have the uh, Danish royal family, um, Queen Marguerite II, we have uh, Crown Prince Frederick and Princess Mary, um, we have President of the FEI, Princess Haya, um, Bint Al Hussein, wife of the Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Dubai. We also have the Dutch Crown Prince. So, um, lots of royalty, uh, scene is set for the team medals. Um, first into the arena, Richard Davidson riding Artemis for Great Britain. And heavens, I forgot, Princess Anne, of course, present. Um, Richard's uh, horse was again tense, unfortunately. He shied at the uh, A end of the arena, at the end of the extended canter. Richard did his best to get the horse back under control, but really the horse could be stronger and more supple and shown in a more open uphill frame. Next in, Valentina Trupper individual for Italy, riding Eremo del Castegno. Valentina also had some difficulties at the, uh, at the same place in the arena, at the F end of the arena, and in particular it was costly just before her right counter pirouette. Eremo was also kicking against her leg in the passage, so all up not quite as good as the, the Grand Prix. She also put in an extra flying change after the, he'd changed after the extended canter and one of her pirouettes, she lost the rhythm. Um, the extended walk also could have more overtrack and the passage he could do even more from behind. Mind you, he's a very supple and elastic horse with high quality paces, so 73.222. Next in, Goncalo, Cavalho for Portugal riding Ruby, a Lusitana stallion. He did a wonderful test, super piaf, nines, even 9.5 I think. Um, beautiful riding with near invisible aids. Certainly the horse could cover more ground in extended trot and extended walk, but really a shooting star and a lovely test to see. Then Claudia Fassert riding the gorgeous 12 year old De Niro mare Donafi. The mayor did a great job in the Grand Prix, but perhaps was a little over um, excited at the beginning of the Grand Prix special, um, reminding us just how difficult it is to ride in competition, particularly at an Olympics. Um, in the first passage on the right rein, the mayor thought she should do a piaf on the setter line, as, as, she, as you would do in the Grand Prix. And then after this, uh, she was a little um, not quite concentrated, and in the first trot half pass, uh, the trot half pass to the right, she cantered. So losing some marks there. Mind you, the two time changes were great, and the passage is a highlight. So um, a little mistake in the ones, but a, a good test. Then Dorothy Schneider riding the 10 year old mare by Don Frederico Diva Royale um, in the, the German team, the first of the, the team riders after the three individuals. The mare was loose, she was obedient, um, it was a wonderful test, very measured ride. Dorothy Schneider is a very elegant rider. Um, to my mind, she took the right amount of risk. Not once did the mayor question what she was asked. It was a great test, high quality, but it looked very much within the mayor's capabilities, which is amazing when you think she's only a 10-year-old mayor. So, a score of 77.540. A great score for a young mare. There were some top quality transitions. Um, she, she is a, a mare I think that we'll see a lot more of and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of Dorothy Schneider. Then was Carl Hester, one of the favourites for the gold medal, riding the Utopia by Metal. Carl comes from Gloucestershire. Um, he's the trainer of Charlotte Dujardin and Vallegro. So it's Carl I think who's had an awful lot to do with Great Britain being where it is in the, the running for the gold medal for team and most likely for individual medals as well. So in he came and he was much more relaxed, taking much more risk than he did in the Grand Prix. Um, did a great job, the extended trots, the first one on the long side on the left rein must have been a 10. Um, 
the horse was a little hot, he shied down at that F end, but of course Carl had it absolutely under control. The Passage is a highlight, so this test with its ex Passage extended trot, Passage is really meant for this horse. The first Piaf was a little bit uh, um, in two parts, and perhaps the Piaf Passage transitions could have been a little more fluent, but all up a great test. And Van Olst, um, her fifth Olympics for Denmark, riding clear water, 72.016, could have been a little more fluent uh, in the transitions and in the, the work today. Mind you, she didn't give away any marks. Then Anki van Grunsven, riding for her life. Um, mind you, Anki's a great competitor. She's riding for her ninth medal. It'll be a dressage record if she can do it, and she really did her utmost. Certainly Salonero can be a little short in the neck in the changes, but the half passes, both trot and canter, were of really top quality. It's hard to believe that Salonero is at his third Olympics. After the pause, um, into the arena, first into the arena, Christina Sprayer on the young De Niro stallion Desperados. It really wasn't her day. Uh, in the first passage on the right rein, he leapt out of the corner. Um, and even though she'd begun with a lot of, of energy and taking risks, she did become a little more conservative after this. In the extended walk, he could have stretched a little more out of the neck, and there was sometimes some double stepping with the Piaf. It was a good pirouette. Um, the passage could have been more equal behind at times, but both the twos and the ones and the counter half passes, as well as the pirouettes, all would have to be at least eight. So in the end, 76.206. Nora Bechtelsheimer, the 27 year old, riding the 17 year old Mistral Hoyus. Laura was born in Mainz in Germany, but I think moved to Great Britain uh, at one years of age. She trains with Klaus Balkenhol. Elf is surely at his last Olympics. At 17 years of age, he looked fantastic, super elastic. Unfortunately, mistakes in the twos and one time changes were costly. Mind you, uh, the first PF especially must have been a nine or 10. Um, I, I, I think that uh, Laura would have been pleased overall though. 77.873. Then Anna Kasprak for Denmark, 22 years of age, riding Don Perignon. She does a great passage, um, really great performance for a, a young rider. Um, the first Piaf perhaps could have been a little bit more fluent coming out of it, but 73.952. Then Edward Gall, riding undercover by Ferro. Edward Gall, of course, we expected, two years ago we would have expected he'd be at these Olympics riding totalists in the running for a gold medal but Totalus was sold and his new sponsors, Glock from Austria, have bought Undercover. This is a young stallion, um, a gelding rather. Edward did a great job. He rode with utmost risk, the Piaf and Passage and Transitions looking really good. A little like Totalus, the overstep and extended walk and the ground cover in extended trot could certainly be better. And the canter is a little bit tight, uh, somewhat reminiscent of his sire, of undercover sire, Ferro, but really a fantastic job by a, an absolute master, um, 75.54. Then Helen Lange Harnenberg riding Damon Hill, the current German national champion. The Passage is a real highlight. Um, she did a good job in the Grand Prix, but an even better job today. Extended walk is great, the extended canter, really good, extended trots, high quality, canter pirouettes, canter half passes, all great quality. Twos and one time changes, also highlights. 78.952. Then Charlotte Dujardin riding Vallegro, the 10 year old. There's lots of speculation, we're hearing the horse has been sold to the Barbashon Mestres family. Um, their daughter Morgan, 19 years of age, riding at this Olympics on painted black. It's also rumoured that Carl Hester's ride Utopia is sold. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out more in the coming days. Charlotte began a little conservatively. This was, after all, for the team medals. Mind you, the horse was superb and she took more and more risk as the test went on. 
highlights in the counter pirouettes, especially the pirouette to the right. The one time changes, particularly between the pirouettes, the two time changes, the piaf at the beginning after the walk transition, lots and lots of really high marks. Today the collective walk and extended walk could have been better, but there was wonderful harmony between horse and rider. It was an absolute joy to watch. Then Natalie Suzanne Wittgenstein for Denmark riding Digby, the Donahull homebred gelding. By nature he's not a horse with a, a really super trot, but it was very obedient. Um, he does have a very good walk. Unfortunately again today a mistake in the one time changes. 75.857. Last in the arena Adelinda Cornelison riding the wonderful jazz gelding Parsifal. He's the horse without a weakness, wonderful paces, fabulous strength and suppleness. It was a great test. The passage, the piaf, the transitions. She rode with enormous um, risk taking right from the beginning and I think she pulled it off. 81.968. So Great Britain had the team medal. Um, Germany in second place with its young riders. In third place, the Netherlands pulled away from Denmark. Their experienced riders, Anki van Grunsven, and although um, uh, riding his first Olympics, Edward Gahl certainly did a, a really fabulous job. Adelinda, of course, also doing a fabulous job. So the Danes in fourth place, um, the average scores were 79.979 for Great Britain, clear winners above Germany with 78.217. The Netherlands, 77.127, bringing up their score today from in the special. Denmark, average score, that's the six tests, three Grand Prix and three Grand Prix special, 73.846. And then a little further behind, Sweden, US and Spain. The Swedes did move themselves up from seventh place um, to take fifth in the team event. The individual uh, placings, today the winner, Vallegro, Charlotte Dujardin, ahead, just by a little, of Adelinda Cornelison and Parsifal. Carl Hester with Utopia moving up into third place, so they're certainly the ones in the running for the medals in the Grand Prix Freestyle. Helen Lange Harneberg is right there in fourth place, Laura Bechtelsheimer and Dorothy Schneider not far behind. The medal ceremony for the teams, um, the presentation was made by Denmark's Prince Frederick um, and also Sheikh Khalid El Khalifa, the um, Foreign Minister of, of Bahrain. Wonderful day's dressage, absolutely thrilling. No, we didn't see the World Grand Prix special record broken, that was 88%, um, also scored by Vallegro in Hagen a little earlier this year, but a really top performance. Um, in two days' time, the top 18 riders will be competing in the Grand Prix Cour. Annabelle Balkenholt did just miss out. Her score of 73.032, just missing the cut for the best 18. Today, in the Grand Prix Special, the top 11 were all 75% or greater. So, really high standard, and uh, we're looking forward to the Grand Prix Cour. Thank you.